NBC7's military reporter Bridget Nasa joins us now. Bridget, it appears going into the process, he's got a lot of support. He also has an awful lot of experience at the Pentagon, known for chopping the military budget and his knowledge of intelligence and operations. With other names floated early for the top spot of the Pentagon, removing themselves from the short list, sources tell NBC News Ashton Carter looks to be the president's nominee. To the Pentagon, he served as Deputy Secretary of Defense for two years, beginning in late 2011. He's somebody that does have a detailed understanding of the way that the Department of Defense works. Dr. Carter left the department in late 2013 after Chuck Hagel was nominated for the top spot at the Pentagon. Hagel served less than two years before resigning last week, reportedly forced out by the administration. Local political analyst John Dadian says Carter is an excellent choice for a replacement. But he knows the department. He's been there. And so there's, there's no learning curve for him. And that's very important going in with just two years left. Prior to being Deputy Secretary, Carter served as Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition, Technology and Logistics. He handled the military's operational needs under a tight budget, including sequestration, and strengthened the military to face emerging threats. While Hagel had combat experience, Dadian says it's rare for a Secretary of Defense, and he doesn't think a lack of that experience will affect the way the Joint Chiefs will feel about this appointment. So it, there won't be any sea change, and I think the military will like that and appreciate that. As far as confirmation, even with Republican John McCain soon to chair the Senate Armed Services Committee, experts say Carter should have no trouble getting the nod. He is somebody who has previous, previously served the administration uh, as the Deputy Secretary uh, of Defense, uh, uh, a position that he um, filled very, very ably. He was uh, confirmed by the United States Senate into that position in uh, September of 2011 with uh, by unanimous consent. He has a lot of bipartisan support as well. Dr. Carter attended Yale and was a Rhodes Scholar. The one-time physicist has also been awarded the Department of Defense Distinguished Service Medal four times, along with the Defense Intelligence Medal. Look for the nomination, we are told, as early as tomorrow morning. Bridget Naso, NBC7.